Welcome to the 2005 Ghana Annual Picnic happening at Orange County Fair after New York. Ghanaians are scattered all over the world. They are known to be very adventurous in their quest for greener pasture, among others, outside their borders. However, in their struggle for financial liberation on foreign lands, Ghanaians still have their traditions and cultures intact, which unites them as a people and provides them with an enormous sense of belonging and solidarity in the spirit of unity. However, in New York, the National Council of Ghanaian Associations has for years now organized, among others, annual picnics in the summer to showcase our rich cultures and tradition all in the name of solidarity and unity. Go ahead. Okay, well, hi everyone, this is the National Council of Ghanaian Associations, and my name is Alhaji Mohamed Mada, and I'm the Executive Secretary General. To my immediate right is my deputy, her name is Ms. Ivy Rose Kwashi. To my far right is our deputy public relations officer, and his name is Kofi Dankwa. To my left is my wonderful financial secretary, the money man. The money man. Well, the picnic was started about 15 years ago wow. as a way of bringing the members of the National Council of Ghanaian Associations together so that we can get to know each other. Over the years, it grew and it became a national event to the point where now we are bringing Ghanaians all over the world together in one day so that we can know each other, we can network, we can have fun, we can socialize and just enjoy each other's company. And find love also, absolutely. <laughs> What's your name? Esther. And you? Chris Love. Chris Love. Margaret. Wow. Esther Wow, beautiful name. Do you, you see me on TV? Nakwale, Nakwale. That's a typical <laughs> African yes. name. Wow. But, but, but why are you here? Oh, we're just here to have fun. Wow. We're here to have fun to see all our people, the Africans. Right. Africana. Yeah. That's oh. right. Ghanaians. Do you, do you come here every year? No, yes. that's my first time. Oh, wow. And I, how do you feel? It's, it's good. I'm having fun. Yeah. It's wow. good to have all Ghanaian people come together to enjoy themselves. Wow. Yeah. No, no, no. I want you to tell them that. OK. Hey. It's good to have all Ghanaian people come together and enjoy themselves. Real. You know, we having fun. For See real. your people. For real. It's not hard. Nice. Nice, nice talking to you. Nice talking to you, right? Bye, you guys. Say Papa Shi. That's the man. That's the man. Papa Shi. One of the busiest Ghanaian musicians you can ever think of. You know, I mean, he happens to be a friend. You know, when he started, I was with him. You remember those days back home oh, in Africa? You are the first person to play my mama. Did you hear that? I was the first person to play his music. Yeah, he's the anyway, first person. Who right now, my I, saw, I, saw, I saw you guys, you know, dancing and you were, doing, you were taking some video shots. Right? Yeah, I was trying to, you know. What's up with that? Yes, yeah, like my new city, and I'm trying to do a video clip. So you know, I'm just taking a dance advantage. But my, my fans here, yeah, they like my music. They told me that they want to be on my video. Wow. I said, why not? Wow. I just want to. No, no, you know, you have the opportunity of being on more videos, right? So hey, give a shout out, you know, to your, your folks in Ghana. I want to give a shout out to my cousin Tic Tac, my cousin NBA, which is named Nana Diaz Jr. My name is Vanessa Archer. Tic Tac, we love you, Papa She, we love you. Like Papa She's music. Because Papa She is my best friend in the whole wide world. Thank you. God bless you too. Hey, what that's Ronnie like from, uh, cause he's cool and he's fine. Cause actually, I don't know, he's cool. <laughs> yeah, that's Ronnie from Shatown. I want to say hi to everybody up in Ghana. Hi, Auntie Flo, I love you. <laughs> Ghana music. Would you say as a musician, cause you're one of the foremost musicians in Ghana today. Would you say as a musician that Ghana music is moving forward? No doubt, no doubt. Trust me, because now, uh, because of hip life, we use R&B and hip hop. Put in the highlights so make I mean everybody like Ghana music and I'm, I'm, I'm talking to you now you know uh, some people who doesn't even understand our language because of the rhythm we play now so make them feel well I mean they listen to music because music has no barrier that's what I'm doing in America here now they start playing my videos in Channel 8, Channel 64 and then 34 too so I mean a lot of people they are not from I mean Africa but they just enjoy it wow yeah wow wow and 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 would you say that you know uh, we have a long way to go or uh, we, we, we are there? We, we are there. We are there. Right. We are there because I mean, I mean, you can witness now a lot of people like what we are doing, the hip life. I mean, you know, I mean, you know, 
I mean, uh, come on, come on, Honcho, trust me. Way back, way back of the day, I mean, uh, they don't even play our music in other clubs, but now even uh, some of the Avorians uh, play our music in their club. And, and what about the nightclubs in New York? Night, yeah, yeah, I Especially mean... Especially uh, like the nightclub where they play typical hip-hop music and stuff no, like no, that. No, 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 they don't play uh, until they, uh, maybe maybe African African DJ is there or maybe Ghana DJ is there. And uh, I mean, uh, now then they, they just said something like hip life, Hip life, hip life from Africa, hip life, hip life from Ghana. So they are interesting. So I mean, soon they're going to know. Uh, now this is a question that is very dear to my heart. You know, uh, in West Africa, for example, you have Senegalese mm -hmm. musicians. You know, and they, they're all over the place. You have, you know, Ivorian musicians all over the place. You know, like they're more, more internationally renowned than Ghanaian musicians. Why do you think? This is the case. Oh, it's not loud like, because uh, the Ghanaian musician doesn't even really have a, a good uh, 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 producers or the promoters here. But now, I mean, our Papa she is here. You are here. You are a good presenter from Ghana. You are here. You know what we are doing. So, like, I'm doing this hip life here. A lot of people like it. So soon, you're going to see my music, maybe Virgin or Sony or Tower Records. That's what I'm doing because now they play my music on TV in, in States here. So wow. things, I mean, uh, I mean, getting better. Wow. Yeah. Thanks for the compliment you gave me. I appreciate it really much. Okay, how about promotion of Ghana music in America? You think it's been properly done? Man, I don't even know, man. I think, you know, they're sleeping on us right now because of that, you know, that Palago beat and that, you know, that Hammer and all, you know, K5 and all of them. Yeah, you know, they're sleeping on us. But, yo, we got flow. You know what I'm saying? We're ready, man. man. We just got to come out there, get them, you know, them kind of beat and, you know, we be on point, man. Well, uh, keep it we're flowing. Ready right now, man. Keep it flowing and give a shout out if you want. Hey, man. I just want to shout out my whole GCG crew, you know what I'm saying? The whole Bronx, the whole Ghanaians that came through, you know, make this happen, man. We out here, man. That's what up, man. Yeah, yeah but tell me now about Ghana music, because you happen to be a musician, right? Ghana music. Ghana music, you know, um, we would, one would have thought that Ghana music by now would be all over the world, just like Senegalese music or Malian music. You agree with me on that, right? Yeah. So why is that? That's a good question. And the question that you just asked me, I'll blame it on our producers. If a producer is strong and we have a strong place of producers, our music will reach high, on a high level. So if the producer is not good, how come your music will be here in a miracle? No. So I blame it on the producers back home. They need to do their corrections. Wow. Nice talking to you, No man. problem. Always. One look. Flip man. Oh, flip man. You've been flipping the records, right? Flipping the sounds like oh, wow. no one else. Now let's talk about music. Let's yeah. talk about music. Because, you know, you're the best person to answer this question. Now, it's beginning to seem like, you know, other countries in West Africa have taken the lead as far as, you know, internationalizing their music is concerned. Yeah. You know, what accounts for that, would you it's say? It's like um, we, we lack uh, serious management and production, see? It's like whatever we do, we try to produce it at home and we try to produce it on radio back home. We don't sell it internationally. And if they want to go international, they sell it in London. Not even in the US. Oh. So it's like it's a mega market and they lack focus. Oh. I'm talking about the producers. Oh. Those who produce the kind of songs uh, played at home, I, I, they, they lack the focus to produce internationally. So that's what it's but, lacking. But, but you wouldn't say that you know the kind of music that they play limits itself to only the Ghanaian market? Because you know, Senegal play their, their own music. But somehow it's all over, all over the world. It's selling because their people are very aggressive and they, they try to invade other markets. Like Nigerians will invade our market. Tony Tatula, for example, uh, collaborated with TikTok and they won an award at the Ghana Music Awards held recently because, you know, he wow. tried to push something into Ghana. Wow. He's a Nigerian. Wow. But we can't push our stuff there. So, you know? so, so you would say, because, you know, usually when people compare Ghanaians to Nigerians, they say the Nigerians are more aggressive than Ghanaians. Sure. You know, Ghanaians have it's a, fact. a certain laid-back attitude. Yeah. You think that's what's doing us in? That is what, because the, the Nigerians are more aggressive than we Ghanaians are. Let's face the facts. Look at the films. We in America don't want, even want to see our movies because it looks like it's kind of some concert or some theater. We don't see, you know, you US agree, you agree to that? I do agree, and oh. it's my opinion though. Oh. People can disagree, but it's my opinion. We oh. love the Nigerian movies than our own, you know, movies. Because oh. I don't know the production, management whatsoever, you know. Wow. But the Nigerians are more aggressive than we are. That's the fact. People oh. know, wow. and I believe so. Wow, Flipman, nice talking to Fun. you.
I'm the new no market tech. That's right, and baby. Know, and, you, and this is boy G Mafia, man. Oh, you guys That's are right. rappers? Yeah, yeah, you know oh, yeah, Bronx, that's New York. Hot. That's hot. That's right. Bronx, so did you perform tonight? Yeah, I did. Oh, you I did? did? Yeah. yeah. And I oh, produced the tracks. Oh, you're the producer? That's right. Produce and oh, rap. That's, that's right. You know? you know what I'm saying? Oh, really? Nah. So I'll do it, man. I'll do it. You know what I'm saying? You want me to freestyle? We just want to say thank you for coming to our picnic. You know what I'm saying? Tell them all. Uh -huh. I tried day, I tried day. Oh, yeah, on the day, on the day. Now, boogie. Now, oh, yeah. Now, boogie. Now, oh, yeah. What's your dash? Uni ma wa die. Oh, yeah. Che che po pa wa die. Oh, wune wune me sem pa die. Wuna me do be bo ma fo die. My name is Samson. I'm, I'm here to chill. I'm here to enjoy myself. You know, on this occasion of that's, Ghana. That's what it's all about today, isn't it? Yeah, and then I noticed that you know you you, you introduced a non-stop scheduled flight to Accra, Ghana, from 1st July 2005. Why? Why would you? Because we always thought that uh, you know the Ghanaian community was underserved. Right now, most of the Ghanaian people have to go by Amsterdam, London, uh, Rome. And you spend simply too much time. It takes about uh, 18 hours to get there, and uh, we feel that we can offer a much better product for uh, and save passengers uh, at least six, seven hours uh, in the transit. Wow! Is it, is it something you've introduced in the two other countries, like in West Africa? No, right now Ghana is the only destination that we serve, but we are actually considering introducing our flights to additional destinations. So, so it's like Ghana has scored the first there, right? The first. Why, 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 why have we scored the first? <laughs> well, you know, we are aware that Ghana right now has no direct service. So that was definitely one of the reasons why okay. Uh, okay. we chose to do it. Right. Now, you are here at this picnic, yes. right? Um, what do you see as somebody who's not from Ghana, who is here to enjoy, you know, the well, picnic? Well, I was, I was really pleasantly surprised when I was told uh, uh, when I was asked to come, we said immediately yes, and uh, we were told that there were going to be about anywhere between 10 to 15,000 people. I, I didn't think that that's, that was possible, but uh, uh, this is really a pleasant surprise, and we are extremely happy to be here. You know, I think regardless what background or whatever people are, when people get together, they are having an excellent time, and this is really a, a time to uh, to strengthen your bonds. Right, right. With, that's, that's, that's really true. But um, would you say that um, the Ghanaians living abroad with whom you come into contact with actually reflects the Ghanaian? Yeah, yeah. Uh, from what I have seen in Ghana, this definitely reflects uh, your Ghanaian culture and Ghanaian spirit. And, uh, you know, we found nothing but the best in dealing with the Ghanaian community. So it's really a pleasure. Oh, wow. It's a pleasure too. Yes, affinity. Affinity Health Plan. Yeah, affinity. What's your name? So it's an insurance. That's right, health insurance that covers dental, vision, and prescription drugs. Okay. Yeah. It's free or low cost health insurance All right. for yourself, your children, and your wife, the whole family. All right. Right. Yeah, um, is, it, is it Ghanaian based? Yeah. Pardon? Is it Ghanaian based? No, no, no. It, it, this is for New York State. Oh. Whether you are from Africa, anywhere you are in this country, you, you are covered. Oh. For children under 18 years, that's free coverage for you. Oh. And if you are above 19, 21 upwards, you need certain basic requirements. Wow. Wow. Oh, nice. But, and I see you are all Ghanaians, right? That's right, we are. The Ghana on our picnic, right? That's right, Poncho. So, so <laughs> tell me, tell me, tell me now, I mean, um, how, how do you feel? Yeah, everything is fine. We are happy here interacting with our fellow Ghanaians. And we are telling, explaining the, the program to them. Some of them are scared. You know, language is very, very important. So we take the problem of explaining to the barest minimum so that they can understand and we send them on. Oh, yeah. That's nice. That's a, it's a free dental, vision, and prescription drugs. Wow. Yes.
like that. Uh, you happen to be the president, right? Yes, of course. Now, um, we're talking about Ghanaian culture in America, mm -hmm. right? Ghanaian culture in America. What do you think we can do as a people, you know, I mean, to reflect more, you know, the Ghanaian culture and tradition in America? Yes. Well, how we want, when, how we, uh, Ghanaians, we want us to do is, we want to get together like Ashanti, uh, all the uh, Ghanaian community to get together so that we can be one unit. So that, yeah, as a, as a Ghanaians, especially as a Kwaus. So that's our main, main issue. No, you're saying, you're saying something really interesting there, yes. you know, because uh, Ghana constitutes people from diverse and, you know, several different cultures and ethnic groups, right? And whilst in America, it's important that, you know, whilst we reflect the Ghanaian culture and traditions in general, you know, the specific areas where we come from, to, we try to assert it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah of And that's what the Kwaoman Association, Association, that's why know, we are, yes. Who, so that's why we call Man Association. That's why we want to um, to to educate our kids, our 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 our, our uh, American born over here to know our culture. That's why uh, this uh, picnic is uh, it, 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 so our kids got here to get together so that they, they will know our culture in back home. That's why uh, this Ghana picnic. Is well. There is this complaint about Ghanaian kids, you know, uh, becoming so Americanized. They don't, they don't dress, you know, to reflect uh, our culture and stuff like that. Uh, but what, what, what kind of decision like you, you know, do about it? You know, charity begins at home. Yes. So on set, our charity begins at home. We, the Ghanaian Association or the Ghanaian children uh, who are here, the well association what we do is we teach the children from home they are back home in ghana in Kau. this is what we do this is what our parents taught us so it doesn't matter that we are in america we want you to follow the same steps so whatever we do even when we go to the meetings we have a special school one classroom high just for the children of our association people and we have a special teacher who teaches them so that they don't forget exactly even their direct and then whatever they have to say or whatever they have to do when they meet with other children from the United States. Uh, I would like to tell all Ghanaians, whether they are here or any part of the diaspora, to do the same thing that we're doing. Because if you come here and you see the Spanish, they have the kids learning Spanish and learning English at the same time when, since infancy. So I think we should all be doing that as Ghanaians, teach our children the culture of Ghana, the language and also the English. They will learn the English when they go to school. When they come home, we should teach them our language and the culture because the culture is what brings up a human being. Without a culture, you know nothing at all in this world. My wife, Papa, Mama, 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 yeah, I'm from Ghana. For me, just one apple. One more show. One more show. Pa, na we need you so. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm saying. Oh, come on, man, yeah, yeah, come on, man, yeah. Na, na, na. Ghana, Ghana, Ghana. From Unkwala, no. Yeah, who wants to say one? Because I'm not from Ghana. Because I'm from Enye, Enye, Enye. This is Enye. This is Enye. This is Enye. This is Enye. Oh, No, address you know, Ghana for me, you know, war, America, Kuma, especially summertime, almost so dressy, sir. Oh, we don't call on the government, you said, you know, we are not going to call on anyone, because I say, I almost dress it to send our address now. Why? I was there, that's a funny approach, say. Get that show. Oh, oh. Right, <laughs> 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 <la
My name is Yakomie. Spanish B, you are believed. Oh. Mexico B, you are believed. Oh. On the other side, South America, you are believed. Oh. They were here, believed in the fact that they were here. Oh. On the other side, they were here. Oh. They were here, but not here. Oh. They were here, but not here. Oh. Oh. No, but this is interesting, you know, because the 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 kind of food and the way we prepare it is also a way that you know reflects uh, the people's culture and the traditions. And um, I want to know this, you know, do we, do we get people to prepare, you know, the typical home style food like this one? But I'm beginning to think that this one was, you know, grown on. No, 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 no. Everything was prepared here. Oh yeah. Oh, yes. Wow. In fact, my mother was the one who prepared this do you get to introduce this type of food to people from different Oh, yes. I was telling them, we call it Dokunu. This is interesting. Very interesting. Well, Dokunu, Asians eat the same food. They call it dokunu. Yes, but we call it. Yes, but when we call it dokunu. Oh. But they call but it our cassava. Our cassava and the plantain. They eat the same thing. I was surprised when I came here for the first time oh. seeing them buying uh, cassava and plantain. Oh. I like that. I like that. They say the way to a, a, a man's stomach is, is, is to have, a man's heart is through his stomach. Right, right. right. And the way to bring people to dinner is you thinking of fish, right? <laughs> thank you, thank you so much. Because this is a Ghana picnic, and somehow your your clothing reflects the, the spirit of the moment, you know. How, how did you get this idea? Well, um, I'm just proud to be where I'm just proud to be from Ghana and my step, my father, Nana Rokoto, helped me also with the design. He put these flags on there. He just helped me with the design basically. Oh, so Rokoto designed this for you. Yeah, my father. And you happen to be Rokoto's daughter. Yeah. Wow, ain't it beautiful? Rokoto. Now, so we are designing a one car. Say that that you are a designer, you are I'm a designer. If you say, Obi Biara no, I'm an artist, you know. Uh, not say we join a platform from Kwan. My dressing. Artist in sewing, artist in acting. If you are a designer, I will be a all round court. Right. Now, now we need Rokoto. Yeah, because it's here and it's here. No, Ghana for Abed Dos for America Kuma, pa. Ghana for Abed Dos for America Kuma. Yeah, can I say, there 1.5 million or even more. One of my channel. In the case, I call it, say, Kronu, a movie who Abba, America. I best set you another crew. And now, what did America say? Uh, yeah. Now, I call it, say, I know, not just say, and when you say, your culture, you have a project in your culture. One of my channel. Who feels, say, Ghana for a walk home, Hano? One more a project, you, you feel culture now. Uh, as someone working on uh, Poncho, uh, the Americans say, "I ne, sans say, say no no." And I'm say, "Baby, you need power. You want to need power, you know." They say, "Yeah, what Chrome Hand we? Yeah, what Radio Ghana, ninety three point five. Ah, now body in class, ah, ne guta me. Ah, aye, company ke si aye from family link." Money transfer. What did Sika and money every a year? America group be a more a call Ghana commercial bank be a no. Ah, yeah, a way a crew. Then they say, and only a fast war. Ah, yeah, your church, a mamre, Subani Casapa, said your baya, young quarter anua, yeah, Yaba Uamaha, and you are more of a Kayan son. Omonka went to you, son said, would you be a two pania? I ya know a green said that to be our bacolachi. Matthias, into the next year, who feels it? This year, this year, what radio stations so America from who have you know? And also, I have what I'm a just say. Ghana for your culture and your traditions, you know. I date you America from who? Yes, sir. Sabe pe pe, send your work ano. M the M the M for super say. You know, we Baba no dey. We try so we maintain the culture, you know. You know, in a style, in a style because we style we ba. But at the end, who feels it? Ghana, Ghanaian Association are organizing 
you say no. One bit to me, I yet I might improve, you know, uh, Ghana uh, programming in the first place and in the second place, no? your culture, no, in general. The Obusa, you may need it. Sanse, and now no one, now you are bought. I just made it. I was happy about the Saudi Arabia. I have no more. I have my boy. I have to my baby. I'm in a niche Ghana one. I'm going to say, I did it. I have in fact, I have followed the rules of war. I'm a Jew. I'm a Wada. I'm a Dinwa. A Chrome coat, so. And I'm very. Amamre, amamre, baby. I'm in Dinu coat, so. I'm going to wear the yaya. I'm back. We are missing you. Now I'm in the Bedino. Now so so no. The main thing is, now now we go to a yaya. I'm a yaya. I'm a niama. Since a yaya, amamre, I'm in Dinu. I'm a kuwa 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 kuwa. I'm organized as Dinu. I'm a Dinu. I'm a Kasa. And a radio Ghana, the penny ayer Dr. Usu da Pansu so one of us who can say, and can be bad ya, can you say, and can be bad ya. The mamre mu biyo say no na can you walk New York, and now say Pennsylvania, and now say Washington abonti. Now say young young su ka ya ya mati ni adi ahuon ding, ani amamre mu etre. No man who say sadi etre. So I say we don't worry we. So we be able to carry our maha. We me who ye sadi ayen su etre. And in Tino, you go so I yeah, 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 home sent any. You know, say your mamma, no, and your bush, you have one more to come back, honey, you'll be in a while, or back a house, say, say, you grow more dead. What can be my miniature, papa, papa, papa? And you know, I've been thinking along those lines. Because sometimes, you know, I live in the Bronx, and on the Grand Concourse, when it's Dominican Republic Day, you know, Puerto Rican Republic Day, you know, they, they, they seize the street. You know, and they organize a, a procession more or less, and you see floats and stuff like that reflecting, you know, their culture, you know, their spirit. I've been wondering to myself why, you know, Ghana, for example, has not had this opportunity of running this kind of pro event on the concourse or any major place, you know, where they can be seen, you know, with the, with Mayor Bloomberg, because he's the mayor right now, any mayor who will be, you know, uh, in position to, to join us and, you know, have a chill because it looks like, you know, it means we are not exactly asserting ourselves, or if you like, you know, not not being recognized. But you know, Rokoto has just made me understand that our elders are making efforts to that effect. Now, uh, 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 nice, it's really nice like that. Now, Rokoto, I have some now work to amount for because wow, sure. Yeah, me pass. I'm catching amount for and say, Obi Biara Nwa, I will do quite well. Yeah, you know, you do quite well. Yeah, baby, 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 now they are coffee. Eto bi biara ali a waba kwantu omo no no aya adwini fie na wo bi fie susu a be ne se e kwan bia susu no obi a owo wo 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 fie na wo ba mane susu a bo modin a se wo mane no a wo mane na fa family link sanse ko gana commercial bank a fe se o pese wo wo ye gana commercial bank fordham account o kura no no a ele susu no e be bia ama wo ha e bi o susu no é baseia que a gente é minha não mas é entre o que o rua a é minha não é minha com a fé de ambas as minhas chances o bia ganha nem não mas é é de mada bem bina se não é ganha nem é de mada o mamã de ansa bem mano bem bia é de mano o nome namba não a fé não a coisa é de mada é bia o se de ambas as minhas chances mamã mas que 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 é hon na é de tia hon na é entai é hon sans é de é minha é fé não fé é baí é a mamã bate a dia é a bate a tio é de ambas as minhas fé na yuko fia ya ni budget, eni anamu mi anua ya huo, ni adua ya huo au niyamini soba adua ya. Yeah, for real, you know, we have to love each other. Stuff happens where you get Ghanaians backbiting, pulling each other down. Like the typical illustration is when, if they both work at a particular place, the very Ghanaian, you know, and his fellow Ghanaian, whom with whom they should cooperate and you know get along, rather find themselves, you know, pulling each other down. That's not right. But I think. You know, there is a greater awareness coming now that as a people, you know, we have to be together and, you know, help each other and, and to progress. And I, uh, thanks to Rokoto, you know, I feel really inspired. Rokoto, tell yeah, you what you're doing. Rokoto, 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 Baby looks colorful, right? Yes, I really and, 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 and what's it about? What's the colors about? Representing Ghana. Representing Ghana, I love that. What's the name? Aggie. Oh, wow, Aggie. Aggie, you know, people tell me that um, Ghanaian girls, when they come to America, they, they change so much that they forget about the culture. And stuff oh, not like that. me. 
Not you. I speak the language at home. I do everything. Wow, beautiful. Yeah. Wow, man. Nice, nice, nice. Now keep it up, okay? Love, love, love. Good. Good. Yeah, it's very nice. It's very nice. Yeah, see, I got the Ghanaian earrings, the bracelet, the chain going on, the red stones for the the blood that was shed during slavery. So, so, so that sounds that sounds like a statement, right? You are making a statement with your yeah, dressing. Yeah, yeah. You know, I want people to know I'm straight from Ghana, Tepradi, Yasmin, Sangari. Shout out to my father, Fifi Sangari, my grandfather, Talal Modos, rest in peace, wow. and everybody in Ghana. You know, wow. we up here trying to do good. You know, get this is America. So when we come, even though we dress like we are from America, but still, we still have that kind of Ghanaian flavor in us. That's why we all come here. You hear people speaking Hausa, Yaede, you know, and others will be on a you know what I'm saying? Well, um, right now in America here, one thing that we lack especially is running our own businesses, bringing people together so we can create the wealth within our own selves. Because everybody comes here and they try to melt in into the culture of America, and then they become Americans, they forget themselves. And the people here, we need to do more to help the people back home. Because when you look at other cultures, those who are very wealthy, they come here and they start a wealth here and take it back home by setting up industries here and setting up the same industries over there. And that helps us to reflect our culture. But when people come and they are all scattered, living in their own corner, ignoring the other people, then you are trying to do something for yourself alone, which is not sufficient for the whole mass. So we have to come together. There are some people that are growing out of it, and some, some, some are still in the culture, some still respect the culture. I mean, I mean, I mean for instance, I still respect my culture. I don't know about the others, so, but I can tell you there are a lot of people that I go and see, you know, still go through any war war cry war pedo and get no fear and uh the answer and our why not so basically you know I know that it's still it's yeah. still on. So it's always that the, even though it's difficult there's an effort at Trying exactly, to there's an effort culture culture in trying to maintain the culture. Wow. No, no, like this dog, all right? You know, that, that's my dog. Ain't no, no dog like, whoa, whoa, whoa. No, no, no. D O D G G. That's my boy. Oh, that's my, you know what I'm saying? D O D G. -G. <laughs> Ain't like Snoop Dogg. You know what I'm saying? Like my, my brother, you know, that's how we do it, all right? Like, his, most people come with jeans and all that. So I was, I was like, so why don't I, like, do my own clothes and something? Plus, I want to be a model, so. I'm a former soccer player. Oh, so yeah? Bob Show, you guys play very hard and courage and win World Cup next year by the power of money. Yes. Yeah, that's Are it. you Ghanaian? Yes, I am. You live in New York? No, I don't. I live in Delaware. Oh, so you came all the way from Delaware and you're impressed? Yes, I am. Impressed. Oh, that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. So you're going to come next year? Yes, I plan on it. Yo, this was one. terrific, yo. I really loved it. All right. Yeah, so all many right. beautiful girls and so many talented people around here. And the performances, all the hip life you and all complain. that. You can't complain. You can't complain. They're all doing right. their best. Like They're I doing like it. That. So you it. enjoyed it? I loved it. All right? Yeah. I loved it. So Thanks for the program, okay? And all the efforts you guys make over here, all right? We appreciate it. And God bless you, all, okay? Come back next year and watch it with us, alright? Peace.